Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Libby's Low Carb Lounge. And today we're going to learn how to make gnocchi. Gnocchi is a traditional Italian uh, pasta that's made of boiled and mashed potatoes and wheat flour. It's generally extremely high in carbs, and we're going to learn how to make it with chickpea flour instead of wheat flour and with rutabaga instead of potatoes. So here is a great recipe that you thought you probably thought you'd never have again if you're a low carb eater. Well, we're going to learn how to do it. So first off, here's the ingredients. Rutabaga, mozzarella cheese, egg yolk, thyme, sea salt, garlic powder, cayenne, pepper, and chickpea flour. And here's the method in front of you. And you can refer back to this in the video, but we're going to talk through all of this. But first off, we're going to take that rutabaga with the skin on and we're going to wrap it in a paper towel after washing it. And we're going to put it in the microwave for about three to four minutes until it gets soft. Then we're going to allow it to cool and then peel it and chop it up. Then we're going to throw it in a food processor. Then you just mix it up and puree it when in the food processor of your choice. I used a small one here. You can use a large conventional one if you have one. Then we mix the remaining ingredients together in a pan and then this will form a sticky sticky dough and then you want to basically grease these long strands or actually you can even throw some olive oil on top of the uh, mixture in the bowl and get some on your hands as well and then you want to roll these out into long strands on a uh, surface that you uh, basically you could use a cutting board. You can see here I use one of these silicone sheets. Then you want to cut these into about two inch pieces. And then you want to grease a fork with some olive oil or you could use some coconut oil that's melted uh, butter, whatever oil you want, but I used olive oil. And then you want to gently press down the dough to make it look more like the traditional gnocchi. You want to bring some salted water to a boil, a rolling boil, but a gently rolling boil. If it's going to uh, vigorously, you want to turn it down a little bit because these, unlike flour made gnocchi, are rather fragile. So you gently drop them in the water and let them boil for two to three minutes until they float up to the top. And then you can take a strainer and very gently remove them because again, they're more fragile than flour gnocchi. Then you want to transfer these onto a previously greased with olive oil uh, bake, or a cookie uh, sheet, or basically I used a pan that I put in my toaster oven. And then you want to bake these at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. They'll dry out a little bit more and be more uh, firm if you do this step. If you've ever made bagels in your past, that's pretty much how you make bagels. You take the dough and drop it into hot water, boiling water, and boil it for a few minutes, and then you bake it in the oven. Well, it's a similar process for these rutabaga gnocchi. After you've done that, they're ready to serve. You can place them on top of stir-fried veggies of your choice. In uh, my particular case, I stir-fried cabbage, onions, uh, and uh, bell peppers together. Uh, I also drizzled white truffle oil over the top of this, but you could drizzle it with olive oil. Uh, you could add whatever sauce you wanted if you wanted to add pesto um, or a marinara sauce. I also uh, suggest that you add black pepper or Parmesan cheese on top of that if you like. And here are the nutrition facts uh, about these. A traditional cup of gnocchi is about 30 grams of net carbs versus this version made with rutabaga and chickpea flour is 7.1 grams of net carbs. You might be able to find uh, gnocchi recipes that are low carb that are made with coconut flour, but I find that this works a little bit better. They hold together a little bit better when you use a small amount of chickpea flour, which does increase the carbs a little bit. So lessons learned today. 
Well, you can easily make your own gnocchi in less than an hour. I mean, that was, that's a really important lesson to learn because uh, pastas usually take a while to make if you're making traditional pastas. This one is quick. You can add the sauce of your choice, whether marinara, uh, pesto, or any other sauce that you like. Or you can just simply put butter on it, or you can drizzle olive oil or truffle oils on it. This, these are made without flour, so again, they are more fragile, so be gentle with them. If you want added form and consistency, you can add a, a, an additional amount of melted mozzarella cheese or a little bit more of chickpea flour. However, if you add chickpea flour instead of the melted mozzarella, uh, this will add carbs. So along with this, you can add a greens salad with the meal and you can place the gnocchi on top of sauteed or stir fried veggies of your choice. As mentioned, uh, the veggies that I used in the uh, previous uh, screen, are stir-fried cabbage, onions, and peppers that were combined with salt, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and a little rice vinegar, sautéed in olive oil. This is very tasty. You can, however, try your own variations with the spices of your choice in the gnocchi, as well as in the veggies that you choose to uh, use to place the gnocchi on top of, or you can just even place them on top of, of, of a bed of greens. Uh, use your imagination and you can use this gnocchi however you would like. Alright folks, hopefully you've learned how to make pasta, which is a dish that you probably haven't had since you began living low carb unless you've had shirataki noodles. So enjoy this dish. Uh, there are many different ways you can make it and we'll see you next time on Libby's Low Carb Lounge. Victoria, al gloria militar, che rubin vola vittoria, al gloria militar, al gloria militar, al gloria.